Um, on the um, other side, like for instance, the, the logistics, which is also an area we offer in warehousing space, um, there's been a record low vacancy rate, the lowest in the world, like Sydney had the lowest in the world at some point with um, um, below um, 0.3%. Um, now, the national vacancy uh, earlier this year was at 0.6%, so extremely low. That means there's literally no warehousing space available. Mm -hmm. And to put this into perspective, every new person that we bring into Australia needs about four to six square meters of warehousing space for all their stuff. <laughs> you know, they're buying that is, fridges and That TVs. is a very interesting <laughs> statistic. I have never heard of that algorithm <laughs> before or that statistic. So that's <laughs> that's a calculation that's been done in terms of uh, in terms of the warehousing space to cater for the, the consumer goods, et cetera, that any one person requires, yeah? That's correct. And if we're bringing ah. in, um, you know, 500,000 new people, that means we really want to have 3 million um, you know, square meters of additional warehousing space. And um, in 2020, we um, achieved 2 million, and this was a record year. So we um, are catching up. There's certainly more, um, you know, space becoming available, and a lot of businesses have reduced their. I guess, um, just in case stock, not completely back to just in time, but, you know, they, they certainly are going back to reducing the inventory, especially in the retail space. Um, so we're seeing a lot of subleases coming onto the market and even some free PLs having capacity again. But um, in terms of new warehouses, um, it's it's still quite challenging. And that's obviously driving prices up in you know, warehousing space now, as well as transport, because we had 12 to 18 months of lead times for new trucks <laughs> and, um, you know, fuel rates um, obviously adding to it as well. So it's it's been um, an interesting development. And obviously all of this is influencing, um, you know, our consumer price index. Therefore, um, you know, the the inflation. <laughs> mm -hmm.